Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm excited because we are talking about a topic that I had to live through over the last school year and nobody told me, nobody warned me. I just had to go through it on my own and experience it. So I said, let me warn the other parents and let me let them know to get prepared because it was a sticker shock. And what am I talking about? Beware the top 10 shocking costs of high school senior year. If this is your first time to my channel, what can you expect from Bernetta Style? You can expect lifestyle content and everything that falls underneath there from wife life, relationships, parenthood, hair, beauty reviews, product reviews, and my favorites, travel content sometimes, and some event recaps. All right, so let's get started. If you are the parent of a high school junior, this video is especially for you because next year, um, senior year is coming fast and it's coming quick. And then once it starts, it doesn't stop. So it's constant, constant until your child graduates high school and even into college, his freshman year. If you are the parent of a sophomore and you're seeing this, you're even more right on time because you got some time to put aside for your child's senior year. So let's go through the cost. Number one, senior night. Now, senior night um, might not apply to you if your child is not um, in athletics. Usually, if your child plays any type of sport, they have senior night. And senior night comes with some fees. Sometimes they want you to get pictures. Like my son plays soccer, so they wanted us to buy a big banner with his picture. That costs, contribute to the party, um, etc. So if your child plays sports, they're going to have a senior night and then the fees that come along just with the parties, with the celebration, with the banners, etc. Number two, homecoming. <laughs> now, you know, homecoming is kind of like prom in the first semester. So when homecoming comes, whether it's a boy or girl, the outfit, if it's a boy, you know, getting what he needs, coordinating with the girl. So getting the color right for the suit, if it's the, in, the, in the corsage and the girl too, if she has a dress coordinating with the boy, the homecoming ticket, um, if they're going out to eat before homecoming, if they're doing anything with homecoming, going to the game or whatever. So just the cost um, and time associated with homecoming. Number three, prom. Like I said, homecoming is the first semester. Prom is the second semester. But prom is even more expensive because this is this is the big hurrah. Um, prom, like if it's like I said, if it's a boy, I had a son. So what was heartbreaking with my son, he had a date, but up until it wasn't his girlfriend, but it was just a, a date that he had. And maybe two or three days before prom, she decided not to go with him. And so he ended up going with his friends, but still just the mental preparedness of him to have a date and then not have a date, but he still had a great time. But of course, you know, the cost of the suit, you know, getting a haircut, um, money to go eat, money for the prom ticket. And if it's a girl, you know, the dress, the hair, the makeup, the everything that comes along with being a girl that we need. So the cost of prom. Number four, senior pictures. Now for us, this was our first cost leading into senior year because for us, we took his pictures in the summer right before actually um, senior year began. So we were just trying to get a jump on it. Um, and then, so that was our first sticker shop, you know, with the cost of senior pictures. So of course, they have 50 million kind of backgrounds you can pick, 50 million packages. Um, and then if you, even if you just want the one eight by 10, that's $50 just for the one eight by 10. But of course you might want two, three poses, do all the things. So you can easily spend a few hundred dollars on senior pictures. Number five, the yearbook. Now it's your son or daughter's senior year. You know, they might be very active in the school or they might not be, but either way, this is their senior year. So of course they want their yearbook so they can go around and have everybody sign it and have their memories. Now, when I was in school, a long time ago, like our yearbook was what? $10 maybe, but you know, yearbooks now are almost $100. And if you don't buy them at the beginning of the year, they get higher and higher um, towards the end of the year. But for your senior, so, so they can... <laughs> For your seniors, so they can have the memories that they want and remember their friends. Of course, you want them to have that yearbook, so that's an added cost. Number six, the senior trip. Now, my son, we live in Florida, so his senior trip was to Universal. So, depending on where you live, it depends on the cost of the senior trip. But, of course, you know, paying for the ticket and transportation all in one. But still, that is a cost that you have to prepare for. That could be anywhere from 50 to 150, depending if there's a, if it's an overnight stay involved or if it's not. Um, but 
that is something else to budget for the senior trip. Usually the senior trip, mm, they graduate in May, um, probably around late March um, and April when they take their senior trip. So just something to keep in mind, something to budget for. Seven, college test fees. Now, of course, your senior year, you're taking your SAT and your ACT. But if you don't like the score or your child doesn't like the score that they got and they want to get higher and higher score for scholarships, um, then they're going to have to take the test a couple of times. And those tests are not cheap, especially if you don't get a waiver. Now, sometimes you're able to get a waiver probably for the first one or depending on income, you can get a waiver each time. But if you don't get a waiver, I know the SAT was $60 a pop, okay? And we wanted our son to get a higher score. My son took the SAT like five times. So we paid for at least three of those. Somebody else paid for another one. And then the school paid for one. But we still paid for like three SATs. And then if you're taking the ACT, ACT that's some more fees. So you just need to budget for those college fees, those, those um, college fees. Well, college test fees. Number eight, college applications. Um, everything's gone up. So why wouldn't college applications go up? But college applications could be anywhere from free to 510 to 30 to 40 to 50 dollars maybe even more i know that um one of my son's number one school was 50 dollars um some of the other schools were 30 25 but if you're applying to like 10 schools 10 times 30 alone is 300 dollars. so you know that's just fees that you need to be able to expect and when you submit the uh application you got to pay the fee. Now, there is a website. Now, there is a website that I need to find, and I'll see if I can put it up here, um, that you can pay a $120 fee, and it will submit it to at least 60 HBCUs. That's right, like $20 or $25, don't, 20 or 25 and you can um, be submitted up to 60 HBCUs. And we did that for my son, but we still applied to other schools outside of the schools that was that were in that particular um on that particular website so we still um spent money outside of that to apply for other colleges next one class ring now raise your hand if you got a class a high school class ring raise your hand if you wore your class ring after your senior year or after you got it for a long time uh, no, I might have wore that thing a little bit at college. I still have it somewhere, but can I go get it right now? No, but I mean, I had it for a while and looked at it, but I didn't really wear it. Uh, my husband said the same thing. My son, he kind of wanted it. He didn't, he didn't make a big deal in a long time. We didn't even, we didn't end up getting him a class ring. He did not make a big deal about it. So we did not make a big deal about it. But if your child, if it's important to your child and you want to get your child to see your ring, just be prepared for the cost. Um, I'm not sure what a, a ring is costing nowadays, but I'm sure it's a few hundred dollars, depending what you want to engrave. You know, you can get your year, you can get your birthstone, you can get it big, small. Um, so I'm sure it's a couple hundred dollars. Number nine, cap and gown slash graduation fees. That's right. You'll get your child's about to graduate. So you got to pay them graduation fees and the cap and gown fee. Okay. Number 10, college tours. Now, every child doesn't go to college, but if your child wants to go to college and wants to go see these schools in person, then you're going to be paying to go on the tour. And many times when parents take their children on a tour, they're paying for the, the travel costs overnight cost food associated with it and then if you multiply that by two or three schools then that can add up to a couple thousand dollars depending on travel and hotel and where you stay um if it's not in driving distance so add it up so those are the cost of senior year and i need to do another video just of a lot of other stuff that comes with senior year but right now I want to just talk about the, the cost that you need to prepare for for senior year. So let's go over it real quick. Senior night, homecoming, prom, senior pictures, yearbook, senior trip, college test fees, college application fees, class ring, cap and gown, and college tours. Okay, so that is easily a few thousand dollars that you need to mentally prepare if you want to give your child the best senior year and you want them to have all the things that come up during senior year for them to be involved and feel like 
You know, this is my senior year. I got it going on. I got this going on. I got this going on. Um, not to mention stuff that just pops up if they want to go to a party, if they want to, you know, do some things. So senior year can get very expensive, not to mention after they graduate. After they graduate, you got to get them ready to go to college if they're going to college. And what cost comes with that? Getting everything for the dorm room, um, you know, preparing them to move and move in. So it's just senior year into their college freshman year is a very expensive one. And that doesn't even include you writing that first tuition check. But probably they get scholarships, but you know, still, it doesn't even prepare you for that. So I just wanted to share with you those shocking costs. If you are the parent of a sophomore or junior, you are right on time to get prepared to put a little bit away every month. Like I said, I just feels like a, a couple thousand dollars. Um, hmm, yeah, I feel it's like a couple thousand dollars you need just for senior year and all the things and fees and, um, you know, that you'll need and that they'll that they'll be requesting. So if you know now, you plan now, you prepare now, when it's time, you'll already have that set aside for your high school senior. I hope this was helpful and I wish somebody would have told me, but I'm grateful that we got through it with my senior. He's a now a college freshman in his second semester and he is doing very well. So hope this helps. Also, let me ask you a question. When you see this video, what stage are you in the, um, what stage are you? Like, are you the parent of a high school sophomore or the high school junior? Are you the parent of a person that has already graduated? And what do you wish you would have known? Was this helpful? What other videos or topics under this um, parenting umbrella or even high school senior umbrella would you like to see? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment because I love to, when I see y'all comments, I love to engage and talk back to you all. All right, have a blessed day.